I want you to explain Eshes to me. Wow, this is more of a Lewis question because he, is he grew up on, on the Frankston line. I'm yeah. not from that area of Melbourne. What is it? Have and you it, seen that? Uh, did you see? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Of course, <laughs> mate. He's the mayor. You would be lucky to outright own a chuppa chup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In terms of like, I highly doubt he is part of the body corporate that owns <laughs> any part of Frankston, let alone the whole thing. Also, it's not even impressive to own property in Frankston, <laughs> like at all. So it's like if he was like, I own Brighton, or I, I own I, the Mornington Peninsula. Yeah, I'd be like, all right, well that's you know, there's there's a beach that like that doesn't have syringes in it, dude. This kid is my boss. So uh, describe. So, so I, I would like at. your description for the people that are just listening to this little fucking turd. Uh, Eshe's uh, is like a subculture of degenerates who wear bum bags and just like skinny, a bit methy, and <laughs> ride the train because they either lost their license or most likely didn't have a father figure to get it. Mm. Which is sad. It's honestly just sad. Like it's. People like make fun okay, of Okay, let's get shades. to the serious bit at the end. Okay. Let's just let, because I'm agree with you. Yeah, And yeah, I think that's, where we, that's where we need to go to bookend this thing. Yeah. But I think there's fun to be had first. There's fun. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I mean, it's, we talk, we tried to do this on our podcast. We brought this up and it ended up just being sad because I think- It at, is sad. At one point I was like, in good faith, someone should just put this kid in jail now before he kills a servo worker. What's Like, someone- that's just- Good, like that <laughs> kills a servo. No, worker. no, not that. I meant before that happens. <laughs> no, that's, that's what, the that's trajectory. What, that's what happens. He's going Iron Frankston and is hitting a stranger in the face on a train, and he's like nine. Like, dude, you don't even have your fucking pen license. <laughs> <laughs> Get that, and then move forward from there. You can't go straight to just hitting people on a train. You have to learn how to write with ink, dude. He's still fucking writing with lead like a child. <laughs> like, because he is a fucking child. He probably child. fucking sniffs it at the end. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this is fucking pretty sad. Like, <laughs> that's I, like it's, it's really all. I just have it. nothing funny to say about it, really, because I see this every time I go to the Frankston shops. Yeah. And, like, you see people like, oing, oing, oing. <laughs> and that's what you see. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes it's not even like English They're just like <laughs> I'm just like fuck I want to make that my new ringtone <laughs> Get attacked <laughs> Oh mum's calling <laughs> I take it back It's hilarious <laughs> I don't know I just feel like I'm punching down Because I am Because yeah. I didn't grow up in this world Like I grew up in quite a nice place of Melbourne and I, I understand the privilege and obviously you acknowledge the privilege I acknowledge that I was dealt a very good hand at birth and my parents are lovely because that's a thing dude my parents love me yeah that's crazy and I love them back and mm. some people don't have that, that and that's how you end up punching a person on a train <laughs>